Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back on the chat. Today we are going to talk about one of the favorite meals of many people around the world. What do you know about fish? Because today we are going to talk about fish. But the very first question as always is, what is fish? Fish biologically are aquatic craniate gill bearing animals that lack limbs with digits. Included in this definition are the living hackfish, lapis, and cartilaginous and bony fish, as well as various extinct related groups. Around 99% of living fish species are ray finned fish, belonging to the class of Actinoptelygi, with over 95% belonging to the Telaos subgrouping. The earliest organisms that can be classified as fish were soft bodied chordates that first appeared during the Cambrian period. Although they lacked a true spine, they possessed notochords, which allowed them to be more agile than their invertebrate counterparts. Fish would continue to evolve through the Paleozoic era, diversifying into a wide variety of forms. Many fish of the Paleozoic developed external armor that protected them from the predators. The first fish with jaws appeared in the Silurian period, after which many, such as sharks, became formidable marine predators rather than just the prey of arthropods. Fish are abundant in most bodies of water. They can be found in nearly all aquatic environments, from high mountain streams, for example, Shar and Gujian, to the abyssal and even Hadal depths of the deepest oceans, for example, Cascades and snailfish. Although no species has yet been documented in the deepest 25% of the ocean, with 34,300 described species, fish exhibit greater species diversity than any other group of vertebrates. Fish are an important resource of humans worldwide, especially as food, commercial and subsistence fishes hunt fish in wild fisheries or farm them in ponds or in caves in the ocean or in aquaculture. They are also caught by recreational fishes kept as pets raised by fish keepers and exhibited in public aquaria. Fish have had a role in culture through the ages serving as deities, religious symbols, and as the subjects of art, books, and movies. Most fish exchange gases using gills on either side of the pharynx. Gills consist of thread-like structures called filaments. Each filament contains a capillary network that provides a large surface area for exchanging oxygen and carbon dioxide. Fish exchange gases by pulling oxygen-rich water through their mouths and pumping it over their gills. In some fish, capillary blood flows in the opposite direction to the water, causing countercurrent exchange. The gills push the oxygen poor water out through openings in the sides of the pharynx. Some fish, like sharks and lampreys, possess multiple gill openings. However, bony fish have a single gill opening on each side. This opening is hidden beneath a protective bony cover called operculum. Fish have a closed loop circulatory system. The heart pumps the blood in a single loop throughout the body. In most fish, the heart consists of four parts, including two chambers and an entrance and exit. Jaws allow fish to eat a wide variety of food including plants and other organisms. Fish ingest food through the mouth and break it down in the esophagus. Most fish possess highly developed sense organs. Nearly all daylight fish have color vision that is at least as good as humans. Most fish possess highly developed sense organs. Nearly all daylight fish have color vision that is at least as good as a human's. Vision is an important sensory system for most species of fish. Fish eyes are similar to those of terrestrial vertebrates like birds and mammals, but have a more spherical lens. Their retinas generally have both rods and cones for scotopic and photopic vision, and most species have color vision. Hearing is an important sensory system for most species of fish. Fish sense sound using 
their lateral lines and their rears. And here are five characteristics of fish. Five characteristics of fish that all fish have in common are of fish are cold blooded, which is also called ectothermic. Water habitant. Another shared characteristic amongst all fish is that they live in water. Gills to breath. They use their gills in breathing. Swim bladers. Fins for movement. And five basic needs of an animal. What is the most common fish to eat? Tuna is the most popular seafood in the US, but about 95% of what we eat is precooked and canned. Tuna's high myoglobin content gives its raw flesh a deep red color and meaty flavor. And here is another question. What are three main features that define fish? These characteristics include live in water their entire lives. Vertebrates have a backbone and some cartilaginous fish have vertebrae made of cartilage rather than calcium hardened bone. Gills, which are slits on both sides of fish that allow for respiration or the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide. Where is the best fish in the world? A good question. The Bahamas in North America. The Bahamas in North America is arguably the home of big game fishing with the waters around the islands holding some large species including marlin, tuna, mahi-mahi and sailfish. Records are set in the Bahamas nearly every year as some of the world's best fishermen try and cast their reels for the ultimate catch. Is it okay to eat fish every day? A good question. Government dietary guidelines recommend that people eat fish twice a week. For most individuals, it's fine to eat fish every day. Why is eating fish bad? While eating fish has nutritional benefits, it also has potential risks. Fish can take in harmful chemicals from the water and the food they eat. Chemicals like mercury and PCBs can build up in their bodies over time. High levels of mercury and PCBs can harm the brain and nervous system. So, ladies and gentlemen, these were all I had about fish. So it's better when you get it sometimes and eat it because a fish is one of my greatest meals personally. So ladies and gentlemen, as I always say, I wish you all the best and God bless you. See you next time. This was the chat, but do not forget to subscribe, share and commenting in that comment section, sharing with us your ideas and suggestions on what we can talk about next time or what we can change. See you lads, see you.